Okay, so I'm new to travel trailers. Let's just get that up front right away. And I really like this trailer we got. We stepped up from a little bitty pop-up. Got two twin daughters and a dog. Say hi, dog. Sam, what are you doing, boy? Oh, yeah, good boy. All right. So, I'm out here on the maiden voyage and kind of a shakedown cruise, if you will. And it's been interesting. I've learned a lot. Um, yeah. So, uh, make sure that your uh, dealer installs all of your caps on your low point drains. Uh, check those. Didn't know they're there. I thought it was just a little valve or something inside, no clue. To go fill up with water, standing there. After a couple minutes, here comes water running out between my feet from under the camper. Son of a bitch. So, with a run into the nearby town, it's about six miles away. Local hardware store, they had one, no, two left on the, on the shelf. Found one, come back. Got it all hooked up. And, uh, or the cap installed, excuse me. Water's going in, perfect. Get here to the campsite. Actually, I swung by the campsite and dropped the camper, then ran into town. So it was a disconnect, hook up, go get water, disconnect again, and finally set up. So, uh, once I had that done, setup's fast. Um, uh, I had to replace the tongue, tongue jack before we came and did this, uh, the equalizer bars I got. Um, kinda gotta lift the back of the pickup up a little bit. And uh, the jack that came with this camper, yeah, it crapped out after just a few times going up and down. So I bought a 5,000 pound jack, no, it's not electric. Uh, it's a crank. <laughs> One thing at a time, there was many more associated costs that I had no clue with. But anyways, got camp set up. Um, looks pretty good. It's a 2016 uh, Passport. Uh, it's a 2810 BH. So got the bunk beds for the kiddos. Like I said, I got twin eight-year-old daughters. That's where they'll be. Um, the reason the mattress is up on top is the reason for this video. Uh, I scoured the internet and could not find a solution to what I was looking for. I could not get hot water. I have water everywhere else. This thing was winterized, flush the system. There's all kinds of videos out there on that. Nothing for figuring out how to get water to the hot water heater. Looked in the books, nothing. Um, looked all underneath this thing, crawling around on the gravel. Um, yeah, can't get it. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna pause this. We'll go outside and I'll show you what I got here. And then we'll come back inside because after four hours, I found the solution. So I'm outside the trailer, and uh, it's April 30th, 2018, by the way, here in uh, southeastern South Dakota. Please come visit our state parks. They're some of the best in the world, I think. Uh, it's been a long, cold winter. We got this thing about a month ago, so um, like I said, a shakedown cruise. But anyways, here's the here's the water heater. And reading all the directions, it says look for the bypass and everything else and whatnot. And um, yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Um, Looked all underneath the trailer for a valve, and yeah, I'm tired. I'm like, I think I said that already. <laughs> but, um, anyways, uh, yeah, so could not come up with a solution for it. And finally had, I don't know, stroke of luck, genius. That's luck, there's no genius involved, it's luck. Uh, so we're gonna back in the trailer, I'm gonna show you where it's at. All right, so we're back in the trailer. Um, and all the directions, instructions, whatever kept saying, you have to get onto the back side of the water heater. 
Um, and uh, there is no backside in this trailer. Uh, you can't get to it. Um, like I said, we got the bunk beds. There's no no access port, anything else. Like I said, this is a 2016 Passport uh, 2810 BH. So, but underneath here, if you look, oh, I'm gonna finagle in here. I'm 6'2". This is meant for my, my eight-year-old daughters. This is panel. You see these two different colored panels right here. You lift one up, and holy crap, there's a water heater. There's your bypass valve. Just like that. Four screws. They're the, the Robinson bit or square drive, whatever you want to call it. So those right on there, sorry. I'm kind of crammed in here. Um, there's four of them. Uh, I just took, took the two out. Ugh. Took the two out closest to the edge right here. Was able to lift that up, turn that valve. I got hot water. Hot water. You know what? I can go grill my brats and drink a beer now. Shakedown cruise. Well worth it before I had the family out here. No doubt. Um, my wife thought I was crazy coming out here by myself. Uh, only about 30, 30 miles uh, from where I live uh, in southeastern South Dakota, so nice and close. Uh, we l love the trailer, um, love the looks of it. Uh, pulls pretty easy. Um, if you do come to South Dakota, be careful. Uh, watch out for our winds. This is the prairie, folks. Um, not sure where this is going to end up at. Um, who's going to see it? But uh, yeah, coming across from the main highway over to the state park. Uh, it was 35 mile an hour gusts. Um, I think you people out on the coast tend to call that a tropical depression or tropical storm. Here it's just a strong breeze. So just be aware folks. Uh, with that, um, hope somebody can find this useful. And um, like I said, I couldn't find anything out there on it. Everything for winterizing. Um, anything else on this camper? I could find a video for it, except that damn water heater. <laughs> so with that, uh, thanks for watching. And um, give me a like. Uh, I'm not trying to start a channel or anything like that. Um, just trying to, trying to help folks out. So with that, happy camping. Be safe. Um, watch yourselves out there, folks. Take care.